All right, we're going to back probe a connector today. And the reason that we back probe connectors is there may be a time when we want to look at what a sensor is telling the computer and not interrupt the computer's reading. So what we do is we back probe, back probe the connector and we can see what that sensor or input or output is doing at that time. So what I have here is a back probe lead and a 15 foot retractable set of leads that we're going to plug into our meter. Okay, we've, we've found the connector that we want to back probe and we've also found the wire that we want to look at. So what I'm going to do is take my my back probe and I'm going to sneak it right down alongside the back of this wire. I'm going to push in firmly until I can feel that my back probing lead has contacted the metal connector on the other end. All right. All right. Okay, we we back probed our connector. The next thing I want to do is verify that I made a good back probe before I plug my connector in, start my car up, and start looking at readings that aren't accurate. So to, to check whether or not I, I have a good back probe, I have a DVOM out, and I'm going to set it to read ohms. And I'm going to check the resistance from the back of my back probe to the pin that I'm back probing. And I should see no resistance or less than one ohm. If I see open, I know that I have not done a good job of driving my back probe into the connector. So I set my reader to read resistance, and I'll take one lead and contact the metal inside of my back probe, and touch the pin on the other side, and I should see low resistance. That tells me 0.2 ohms this is a good back probe. I'm ready to connect my graphing meter up and take a look at what's going on in this car.